Today, I'm gonna to show you how to start your own digital marketing agency with no money, no experience, and without investing into some $997 course. You don't need any of these paid programs to start your own marketing agency and even get to five to $10,000 per month. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys everything step-by-step, -step, what I would do if I was starting over completely from scratch to get my first clients 100% for free and how to fulfill for those clients so that you're guaranteed to get them results. Now, if you're brand new here to the channel, my name is Jason Wardrop. Back in 2015, I started my own real estate marketing agency, grew that to over 15,000 paying clients. So I wasn't just one where I went through, made my first $10,000 in a month, and then started becoming an online guru teaching how to start a digital marketing agency. And you'll see, I don't even sell you a course. I'm gonna throw, show you guys everything step-by-step for free right here in this video. And then if you guys want more detail on how to go through and get all this done, just smash the like button, drop a comment down below, and I'll actually hook you guys up with a more detailed course, show you guys everything step-by-step, 100% for free. No upsells for coaching, no upsells for anything else. It's all 100% free. Now, before we dive in how to actually get clients and how to fulfill for those clients, I wanna break down the digital marketing agency, also known as SMMA business model. Basically, what you're doing is you're finding small local business owners. So think about your orthodontist, your chiropractor, plumber, electrician, really could be any type of industry, and you're helping them with marketing services to help market and grow their business, and then you charge a monthly retainer. Now, traditionally, if you go back and watch a lot of the YouTube YouTube videos maybe a year ago, a couple years ago, a lot of these so-called gurus that I don't believe really have actually gone through and done the thing that they're talking about. They say charge $1,500 to $2,000 per month per client because it's an easy sale because for you as the viewer, you look at that and you're like, man, $2,000 per month, all I need is five clients and then I'm making $10,000 per month and then I'm just rolling in the dough. However, the reality is things are not exactly like that. If you've ever tried that business model, you might get a client or you might get a few clients like I did back when I first got started. And I got to a point where I was making six grand a month and I thought I was doing great. I had four clients paying me $1,500 per month and then two months later, I was down to $1,500 per month because these small local business owners, they can't afford the $1,500 to $2,000 per month and paying you that every single month plus maybe ad spend on top of that. And so what ends up happening is they cancel after two to three months. So what I wanna show you guys in this video is the right price points to go through and charge, how to actually get those first clients and fulfill for those clients so they stay on long term so you can grow a sustainable business. So with all that said, let's dive into how to actually get your first clients 100% for free because more than likely you're watching this video because you have no money, you have no experience with the whole digital marketing agency space. So you're looking for a good way to go through and get clients without investing tons of money into a paid course or into paid advertising. So the first thing that I would do is I would go to my Facebook profile and I would just make a simple post. And what I like to do is I like to go and start with a specific industry. So I was working with the real estate industry. Now it doesn't mean you have to go down and work with real estate agents, but it's a great market to go through and work with. You can work with dentists, orthodontists. I have friends in almost every single industry that have been successful. So every industry can be a profitable industry. Now, for most of my examples, I'm going to use the real estate industry because that is my background. And so it's just easier to go through and give you guys examples. So what I would do is I go to my Facebook profile and I make a simple post and I'd say something like, Hey, I'm starting a marketing business to help real estate agents generate more leads for their business. Are you a real estate agent or anyone, you know, a real estate agent that I could go and have a conversation with. And you just post that out there. And the nice thing about this is this is going to your family and your friends and AKA your warm market people that know you, hopefully they like you and hopefully they trust you. And so referrals are a lot easier. And so you start to get the conversations rolling and at least people know, okay, this is what that person is doing. And the thing I like about the real estate industry is pretty much everyone knows a real estate professional. And if you don't personally know a real estate professional, someone you know, they for sure know a real estate agent because there's a lot of real estate agents in the United States alone and also worldwide. And then the nice thing about this strategy is not only making the posts on Facebook, 
But then you can go to LinkedIn, which is also more of a business focused platform, and you make the same exact post on LinkedIn. Now, obviously this strategy only takes about five to 10 minutes to whip up a simple post like that, post it. So this is not gonna be the only thing that we're gonna do. We're gonna do a lot of different techniques and strategies because we need to go through and get our message out there so we can get as many conversations and many, as many potential clients as possible. Now, the next thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna stay on Facebook and we're gonna stay on LinkedIn. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go find Facebook groups and LinkedIn groups with our ideal target customer in those groups. So we're gonna to go to the search bar on Facebook or LinkedIn and we're gonna type in real estate agent. And there's gonna to be tons of different groups with all the real estate agents where you're gonna type in plumber, electrician, or mortgage broker, whatever industry you wanna work with. And we're gonna start joining all of these groups. Now, we're not gonna go through and spam those groups, okay? You're gonna get kicked out super quick if you go through and do that. But we're gonna join all these groups on Facebook as well as LinkedIn. And we're just gonna start seeing what people are posting. And if we can go through and add value to any of the posts by commenting, replying to their, their questions, we're gonna go through and start doing that. Now your name is gonna start being seen in this group and the more you do it, it's gonna be seen more consistently. And then occasionally, maybe once or twice a week, you're gonna go through and make a post and make a value post, not some spammy post saying like, hey, come buy my stuff, but some post adding value and say, hey, you know, I've got these free templates or I've got something to be able to go through and hook you up with, or would love to help jump on a call and help you go through and get, you know, your business going with the things that we're gonna cover here in just a minute as far as the client fulfillment goes. So now at this point, we're going through, we're posting on Facebook, we're posting on LinkedIn. If you want to do a leave in a post on Instagram, that works as well. And then we're going through on Facebook and LinkedIn and we're joining all the Facebook groups. We're starting to engage, but also all these things that doesn't really take a lot of time. You can really go and with focus effort, 10 to 15 minutes, knock all this stuff out, right? So now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to Google and we're going to type into Google whatever your specific industry is. So for this one, let's say we're going to go at work with dentists, right? So we type in dentist near me or Dent dentist Dallas, Texas or dentist, whatever city that you live in. And it's going to pop up all of these dentists in your local area, right? And you're going to see the dentists that are paying for ads at the very top, which the thing I like about these dentists is you're probably not going to go through and sell them on running Google ads. But if we have no experience, we probably don't have no business running Google ads for these businesses. But the thing I like about that is it shows that they are willing to invest in marketing services for their business to grow their business. Because the toughest thing is, is finding a business owner who doesn't really believe in marketing or they don't really want to go through and expand their business. And then you have to sell them on why they should go through and market and expand their business. And then after that, you have to then sell them on why the service that you're going to perform that for them is the best service possible. So basically it's going two layers deep on this thing, which makes things a lot more difficult. So I like to look at the ads and you can just click on the ads. It's not going to cost that much to them. Go to their website, call them up and say, Hey, look, I'm going through and I'm helping small business owners or I'm helping dentists or real estate or whatever with their marketing. We'd love to show you some things that we can do, right? And then if you scroll down past the ads, you're going to have the Google My Business listings and you're going to see the number of reviews. You're going to see all the different things about this business and you can see what other businesses are investing into their marketing because maybe they've got more reviews than the next business owner or maybe their whole Google My Business listing is filled out a little bit better or you can see they've got a nice website or if they don't have a nice website, that could be a great opportunity to go through and offer them a nice professionally designed website which even if you are not a designer, I'll show you how to make that happen here in just a minute. All right, so we're diving deep here on client acquisition, how to get clients 100% for free. We've talked about Facebook, LinkedIn, our profiles, our groups, talked about Google, typing into search, finding people that are advertising, the Google My Business listings. And then another great way that I went and did when I first got started is joining networking groups. So this is not online stuff, this is actually getting out into the marketplace in person, but there are groups like BNI that are business networking groups that you can go through and join them or maybe attend even just one session and you can meet a lot of other business owners in your local area that might need assistance with their business and their marketing. Or you could even go to like a meetup.com and there's other business networking groups that you can go in, join and let people know about your business and what you're doing in your local area. Now, the last free client acquisition strategy I'll share with you guys before we get into the whole client fulfillment of how to go through and fulfill for these clients step by step 
is YouTube. And I absolutely love YouTube. You guys know I've got a YouTube channel. That's obviously what you're watching right here. And the crazy thing is, is you do not have to have thousands or tens of thousands or even hundreds of thousands of YouTube subscribers to see this strategy work. I actually helped somebody go through and start their own YouTube channel. This is several years ago now. They only had a few hundred subscribers, but they were making over $80,000 per month with their digital marketing agency by simply leveraging the simple strategy I'm gonna break down for you right now. So if you go back and look at my earlier videos on my channel, I was making videos about how to generate real estate leads or how to generate mortgage leads because I was working with some mortgage brokers as well or the best Facebook ads for realtors. And so I'd make these videos around these specific topics that those videos could then rank in the Google search engines or YouTube search engines. And so if someone's typing in the best, best Facebook ads for realtors, more than likely they are gonna be a real estate agent interested of going through and learning how to generate leads for their real estate business. And the biggest tip I could share with you guys here is a lot of creators like to go through and hold back information. But what you wanna do is you want to literally show everything. Show the Facebook ad templates if you're running Facebook ads. Show the landing page, the websites, the follow-ups, everything step-by-step, -step, the software that you're using. The reason why you wanna show everything is because they still will not want to do this and they will still not want to set this up for themselves. And that is where you come in and they'll pay you to set this up for them and run everything on a monthly ongoing basis. So I know a lot of people that have this fear of like, I don't wanna show too much or I don't wanna show them my secret sauce, but I kinda went the opposite approach and I just showed everything. And it worked extremely well for me because then people saw that I knew what I was talking about. They saw the entire strategy, kind of like in this video right here. And then they're like, you know what? I actually just want you to do this all for me because I don't have the time to set up all of these marketing campaigns for my business because I'm busy being a real estate agent or a mortgage broker or a dentist or orthodontist or whatever the business they're working with. So if you go back and look at some of my earlier videos, like how to generate mortgage leads, there's not millions of views or hundreds of thousands of views, but I've got over 10,000 views on some of those videos that generated hundreds of leads, which of the people viewing those videos, they are my ideal target market because no one else is gonna watch a video about how to generate mortgage leads other than a mortgage broker or a loan officer, somebody that is very interested in what I am sharing. So every single one of those views really counts and is very valuable for your business. All right, so enough about getting clients. Obviously, if you guys want more step-by-step -step actionable information, just drop a comment down below and also have linked out my 100% free course. Like I said, guys, I'm not doing any upsells. There's not any coaching or anything like that that I try to upsell you on. So just drop a comment down below or click the link and I'll hook you guys up with that free step-by-step -step course, which will go into all this in a lot more detail. Now, let's jump onto my computer and I wanna show you guys some of the simple services that I would offer even if I was a total beginner and had zero marketing experience. All right, so let's dive into the client fulfillment and how to guarantee these new clients that you're bringing on that they're gonna get results so they continue to pay you on a monthly ongoing basis. Now, this software right here is the exact software that I personally use. I use for all of my clients and I highly recommend everyone to use the software because before finding the software and using the software, what I had to do for my different clients was I had to sign them up with four to five different software solutions to be able to get the result that I wanted. And then I had to integrate all those softwares together, which took a ton of time. And then if I brought on another client, I had to re-sign them up with four or five different softwares, integrate them all together. It was just a headache. It took a ton of time. Whereas all the different marketing softwares and solutions that you would need to sign a client up for, they all exist in this one simple software. And you can run all of your different clients under one account on this software as well, but have them each have their own, what they're called sub accounts. So they're all separate, they're all individual, but you as the marketing agency owner, you don't have to go through and have multiple logins and multiple accounts. You can oversee all of your different clients. So I'll have a link to a free 14 day trial to this software right down below this video where you can go through and jump in and get started. Um, plans start at just 97 bucks a month. And so with the free course, I'm gonna hook you guys up with, plus a free 14 day trial to go through and set your entire business up. This is like an absolute no brainer and they're gonna have high, high profit margins right from the get go with this. All right, now I wanna show you guys some of these different 
um, things that I would go through and help business owners out with. And what I like to do is kind of like dial in on one or two things, but I'm gonna show you guys a wide variety because you can see there are a wide variety of things that you can go through and set your clients up with. But I like to focus, especially if you're brand new, a beginner, no marketing experience, solutions that rely on software, systems, and tools and not your expertise in marketing or any of the experience, right? Because more than likely, you don't really know what you're doing, so how can we get clients results by removing um, your inexperience with this whole game, right? And so a lot of these software systems that I'll show you guys is pretty cool because they're like a five minute simple setup, but then they deliver value to the client on a monthly ongoing basis where they never wanna stop paying you because they don't wanna lose access to the services that you're providing. Now, one thing that we talked about earlier, which I'm not necessarily saying that you should all go through and start with this, but we said like, you know, if you type into Google, dentist near me, and you pull up and it's one dentist doesn't have a great website. The cool thing about the software, it does so many different things, but I'll just show you guys a few things here. But you can actually build out a brand new website for them that's professionally designed with a simple template. You can see this is just a demo account right here. But we're gonna click on new website, and there are hundreds of different professionally designed templates that you can easily go through and set up your clients with. And then once you go and click on whatever template you wanna use, all you have to do is fill out a few basic pieces of contact information, change their phone number, their email address, their actual physical address, the name of their business, maybe throw in their logo, which is very, very simple to do. And then it's set up, it's ready to go. They have a nice professionally designed website, which they're never gonna wanna cancel those services because they want their website and they want a nice place that people can go through and click to for their business, right? And you can see all the different um, areas over here, all the different tags, all the different types of websites that you can go through and set up for these clients. Now, one of my favorite things to go through and set up for any client, doesn't matter what industry, is something called auto miscall text back. So if we pull up Google here and we type in dentist Dallas, Texas, something like that, right? And then as we come over here, we see that there is this call button, right? Or we just down here, drop down the phone number, okay? So we click on call, phone number. Well, stats show that 62% of calls go unanswered. So what happens if you're looking for a dentist? What you're gonna do is you're gonna type in, let's say Dennis in Dallas, Texas. You're gonna come over here to Dallas Laser Dentistry. Maybe that's not the specific one, right? But like you're gonna go through and you're gonna click on this. You're gonna call this first business. And if they don't pick up, you're not like really just tied to that dentist. Um, so you, what you're gonna do is you're gonna probably call the next person, right? And if they don't answer, you're gonna call the next one and the next one and the next one, okay? Well, what this simple service is auto miss called text back is it prevents the person from just calling the next person because 62% of these calls are going unanswered, but instead of just going unanswered and not getting back to that potential prospect, we automatically send out a text message for our dental client. So then instead of that person calling the next dentist, they see, oh, I got a text. I got a text from this uh, fine smile dental right here. Maybe I'll just text back and maybe I'll continue the conversation with them before I click on more dentists and keep calling other dentists in my local area. So if we jump back to the software, all we have to do is come down here to settings and then we're gonna just scroll all the way down here under the business profile and we see enable miss call text back settings. And I'll just move my head here so you can see this right here. And we just click save miss call text settings. Now this is already set up. Normally it just is unchecked right there. So we just check this. We can customize how this meshes looks, however we want, and just click save miss call text back settings. And the great thing about this is now anytime somebody calls that business and that business doesn't pick up, it's gonna respond to that person that called and said, hi, this is so-and-so. I saw that we just missed your call. How can I help, right? And so now instead of that person calling the next business owner, they're just texting back with that business. And for those people watching and say, I, I've seen this before, they're like, well, what they're calling from a landline. Now, how many people do you know that are actually calling from a landline? Almost everyone nowadays is calling from a mobile phone that you can just text back and forth with that person, right? And so this is just one simple service and you can see you don't need any marketing experience. You don't. You can be a total beginner and easily go through and set this up. Literally check this box for enable missed call text back, click save, and it's set up ready to go. That's all the person needs to do.
Now, another pretty cool service that's really simple to go through and set up and actually is leveraging AI. So you can go through and have that as part of your sales pitch, which AI is literally all the rage right now, right? Is something called Conversation AI. So all we have to do is click over here on Conversation AI and we can have it um, off suggestive or autopilot. And let me tell you what this means right here. And so I've got it on autopilot right here and we could choose the different channels. So we have texting, we can have Instagram, Facebook, Google business profile, chat widget, which we'll talk about here in a second, and even live chat. So what this is, is if anyone messages the business, the dental business, the real estate agent, if they text them, some Instagram DM, Facebook DM, whatever it is, the AI is able to go through and automatically respond to their question. Now you might be thinking, well, Jason, how do they know? How does AI know how to respond to the question? Well, the cool thing is, is we can go through into this bot training right here and we just copy and paste the URL to the business's website, whether it's a dentist, real estate agent, whoever it is, you just copy and paste it in there. And then what AI does is it scans the entire website and it starts learning everything it needs to know about that business. What are the hours of operation? What are the services that it offers? Um, any, anything else that they might have questions about. And then from there, you can go into this little bot trial and you can test the bot. You can ask a frequently asked question that somebody would ask, and then it was going to go through and give the response back. And then if it's not the right response, you could just do a thumbs up or thumbs up or thumbs down. If it's a thumbs down, you just say what it should have actually said. And then the bot is trained and it learns. And so every single time after that, it's going to respond with the right answer. And more than likely, most businesses, they only get the same like six to seven questions over and over and over again. And so this is a simple way where they don't have to have like a secretary or some additional staff person go through and respond to all the questions that are coming in. And the person that's trying to get their question answered is able to get their question a lot quicker. So this is an extremely valuable service that you can go through and offer to any of these small local businesses as well. Now, another one is this little chat widget. Okay, now this goes on a website and I'll just show you guys how simple this is to set up as well. So if we come over here to the websites, we've got a website already pulled up right here. So over here, let's just say we've got this beauty studio. Okay. So we've got all the different pages right here. If we want to pop it up, see what this looks like really professionally designed, nice website. Let me just move my head right here. This right here is the chat widget. So if somebody's coming to a website and they're like checking it out, hmm, I've got questions on their services, whatever it is. Hi there. Have a question. Text us here. So they come in, they put in their question um, with their phone number right here. And this is where conversation AI, what I just showed you guys can automatically respond to any of the questions that are coming in. And in order to go through and set up this simple chat widget, it's as simple as checking a box to turn it on to one of the websites that is built into the system. Or if a website is not built into this, this system right here, you can easily just copy and paste a little bit of text onto the website and it's set up ready to go and you never have to touch it again. So jump back over here. This is that website that we just popped up. All you have to do is click on settings and then we're just going to scroll down and you can see chat widget right here. You just hit disabled, make sure that it is enabled and then we'll just move my head right here and you just click save. And just like that, the whole chat widget is set up on the website. Super easy, but very effective in helping the business get more clients and respond to their clients faster and so they can grow their business. Now, just to wrap up, I've got two more things that I want to go through and share with you guys. Um, on top of this, there is also a mobile app that is tied into this uh, software right here. And I think I forgot to tell you guys, but you can white label this software, meaning you can put your own logo. You can see this is my logo right here. You can connect your own domain. You can connect your own payment processor. So you're collecting 100% of the revenue that's generated. And it's not any type of affiliate commission or there's no splits or anything like that. You pay the $97 per month, or you can even upgrade to a $297 per month plan and you can bring on as many clients as you want and charge whatever price point that you want. Now, for a lot of these simple services like I've talked about and I'm showing you guys, 
Since there's not a lot of work involved, I recommend charging anywhere from $200 to $500 per month. And it depends on really the amount of services that you're offering and the value that you're offering to these small local businesses. In some industries, you could probably charge a little bit more because um, they're higher ticket business. Like a dentist, you could probably charge a little bit more than maybe a solo real estate agent for the same exact services. However, with that said, there's a lot more real estate agents than there are dentists. So there's a lot more opportunity to work with a higher volume, a higher number of people. So you've got the mobile app, you've got the white labeled software. Two more things I want to show you really quick. This one is called a CRM or customer relationship management tool. So basically it's where a business can store all of their contacts. And these are just bogus um, dummy contacts in here. They've got their name, their phone number, their email address. You can add tags. You can go through and add notes to these different contacts. You can help them import contacts, export the contacts. You can enroll them in automated email marketing sequences, text message sequences. You can do a lot of cool stuff right here. But then another thing that I really like, which is a huge value add for a lot of small business owners, is this unified inbox. So what you'd first do is you have a business owner come over here connect their Google account, connect their Facebook account, and then over here in the conversations, anytime a small local business gets a Facebook DM, Instagram DM, a Google chat, a text message, a phone call, an email, it's all gonna come into this one unified inbox. Because if you think about it, 20, 30 years ago, there are only a few ways to get in contact with a business. You could call them on their landline, or you could maybe send them an email or actually like a physical piece of mail, right? But now we have so many different platforms, so many different ways to communicate and communicate with customers that you know, you, if you're not checking your Facebook page daily, you might be missing messages from potential clients. And so by streamlining it all into one simple unified inbox, and even able to pull in all of the five-star reviews that you might be getting from Google or Facebook and be able to respond to them in one simple location, that means that the small local business that you're working with is never going to miss another message again. And this is also a huge value add for you as the marketing agency owner, because if a potential prospect is reaching out to you on your Instagram page or Facebook page or sending you a text or dropping a voicemail or whatever it might be, you can see all the communication, everything that's going on, so you never miss out on a client and a potential deal. So anyway, guys, I hope that was helpful as far as going through and starting your own digital marketing agency. Like I said, you don't need to invest in some $997 course to go through and make this happen. I've actually had a number of people watching this channel follow my exact strategy step-by-step -step for free and be able to get to five to $10,000 per month. So if you're not subscribed yet, make sure you tap or smash or whatever the subscribe button. And then also, if you guys want that free step-by-step -step course, we're just gonna dive into all this a lot deeper, plus show you additional things to go through and get started, how to use this software, how to go through and get things set up. Just smash the like button and drop a comment down below and we'll share with you guys that link to be able to access that free course. And then once again, I know I always get questions about like, what's the software using, how to go through and get started. Um, I'll also have a free 14 day trial to the software I just showed you guys where you're gonna be able to run your entire business plus all of your clients' businesses under just one single account, which is a huge benefit, a huge value add, not only for you, but also for your clients. And on the $97 per month plan, you can run your own business and bring on three additional clients, which is absolutely game changer because if you're only paying $97 per month and you bring on three clients, even if it was just two clients paying you $200 per month, you are already a profitable digital marketing agency right out of the gate. So anyway, guys, thanks so much again for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. And with that said, I will see you all in the next video.